Hi. Okay, so it's day nine, and here is my video update. Of course, I kind of didn't update it at the week mark because I did not. And mental health is a challenge. Um, it's an ongoing thing I live with. Um, being like depressed and anxious with my ADHD, and you know, dealing with trying to get my autism assessment done properly, being able to afford it and all of that. Anyway, this is day nine of Zoloft. And if you're new, welcome to my little mental health channel. I hope to make you feel seen, heard and represented, especially if you are Asian. Um, and if you're Singaporean, uh, you know, I, I hope to one day change things and make, you know, mental health care more affordable and accepted and less stigmatized uh, with my work and uh, how I go. So, I'm just being distracted by my screen behind me. Okay, I'm gonna keep this really short and sweet like the previous video. So, the last time I checked in, I was at day four and I was super nauseous. Nausea is still here now. Um, and it's like right there. But I think it's getting better. I'm getting used to it, maybe. I don't know. Um, I realize when I take it, it affects exactly when I wake up, which is interesting. So, I've been trying to take it like earlier and later and earlier and later and I find that does, you know, um, that does make me wake up earlier or later as, you know, with the hot, with the heat like radiating from my skin suddenly in the morning. So if I take it at around noon, I wake up really early. This, ha this has been from 4.30 to maybe like 7 a.m., like 6.50 a.m. If I take it about like 1.45 or 2, I find myself waking up about 10 a.m., um, which is interesting. So now I'm trying to kind of toggle it to a point where I can wake up at 6, which is kind of my goal time because I like watching the sunrise. Um, and when I do like get insomnia or my sleep's weird on other days, you know, and I wake up at 6, I'm so happy um, if I'm rested and hope to work towards that. Um, the night sweats are okay, I guess. They're like, Chilling out, either that I'm getting used to waking up when I do get a night sweat, so I'm not actually sweaty, um, and I go like water my plants or something. And uh, my dreams have been still really vivid, but they're getting more and more boring, and I read that this is a thing. So let me know if you have been experiencing it too. I literally dreamt that I was like cutting bangs and like combing it in like my bathroom mirror, and like that was like my dream. It was so mundane. It was so weird. Um, I haven't really been feeling happier or sadder. I do find myself feeling more like, hmm, like my, like my middle ground. I guess my middle base emotion is more. Hmm, it's not like oh, you know, it's like not a sad side. It's more like a just hmm, okay. It's more like okay, um, which is interesting, and yeah. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm now on 25 mg. I'm supposed to bump it to 50. I kind of have, I think, a few more days of 25. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to take the jump just yet or wait until the side effects subside even more because I have, like, work to do and I want to study and it gives me, like, massive brain fog and fatigue. So I might wait till there's a break of, like, at least a week in between, like, my life. Um to it just before I bump it up again. So I'm not really sure whether I'll take the jump to 50. So if not, this will just be me continuing to adjust on 25 and maybe it works on 25. I don't know what work is supposed to mean, um, but if it helps, I haven't had like any like super sad sets since I started going on SSRIs, meaning including the Prozac as well, except for my hives, which I am using this for. And it dries non-sticky, but it's super like, thick and I think it's helping but I don't know it's kind of peeling already and I hope it gets better um but we will see and we'll just keep using it when we remember so I hope everyone is well and if you're about to go on your SSRI journey or your mental health healing journey I hope that this makes you feel less alone um I know it's scary uh and you know it's hard but like I think for me, it reached a point where I was like, okay, but what is the point of being so miserable? This is also with the experience that getting diagnosed and medicated for my ADHD helped me a ton after I got through the grief of like the years and the life that I lost. Um, 
So that, you know, that makes it, you know, that was where I came from and that's where I come from now. But I highly, highly recommend that, like, you know, mental health is more prioritized. If you are wondering, like, should I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I hope this vlog helps you. Um, it is day nine on Zoloft. And here is to balancing my brain a little better so I can be better for, you know, my family, my friends, my community, my colleagues, you know, to do my work and life um, kinder to myself uh, and everyone around me. So thank you for watching. Take care and I will see you soon.